Hey guys, today I thought that I would show you how to get this really really nice glowing and pretty um, Christmas party makeup look. You could wear it to a Christmas party, you could wear it just on Christmas Day or to any other Christmassy related events that you've got going on because the eyes are all gold and the lips are red and I just think this is really pretty. If you want to get this look then please continue to watch and enjoy. Bye! So to start you can see I've already pulled back my hair and I have already moisturised with my Aveeno Daily Moisturising Lotion. And now I'm just going to prime with my e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer and I have the green one to get rid of any redness of any spots or in my cheeks or anything like that. I just take a small pump, and that's not really that small, but just on my finger and this stuff is pure like green, it's weird. And I just blend this in all over my face. Now I'm just going to apply my foundation, which is the MAC Mineralize uh, Moisture SPF 15 foundation. And I have that in NW20. And I'm going to blend that in with the Real Techniques Stippling Brush. And I just sort of place the amount that I want on each section of my face first before I start blending it out. Next it's time for concealer. So the concealer I'm going to be using is my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and that's just for under my eyes and also my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer on any spots that I have. To blend in that concealer I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender. Just sort of pat it in. I feel like a beauty blender blends concealer a lot nicer than a brush does for me. So now that that's all blended in, I'm going to move on from the skin and start on my eyes. I'm first going to use my, this is my Benefit Gimme Brow, which is like the best thing ever. It's just like a gel brow brush sort of thing, but it's amazing. Next I'm going to apply my Maybelline 24 hour colour tattoo and this is in Bad to the Bronze and I'm just going to pop this all over my lid. I'm not going to use any brush for this, just I'm going to take my ring finger and apply that. Next I'm going to take this little tiny eyeshadow by a brand called Mask and this is in the colour Rich List. It's just like a really, really pretty, uh, super duper shimmery, yellowy gold I guess. To apply that I'm just going to use one of those eBay brushes and this is just like a little tapered blending brush. I just really want to pack loads of this, uh, this gold eyeshadow on top of the bad to the bronze just to give it a warm gold glowy effect.
to blend that out and add a bit more definition to the crease, I'm going to take my MAC 217 and blend in this Revlon eyeshadow, which is in the colour 04 Champagne. And just applying that all through the crease, just to blend out the other colours. Now for liquid liner, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Master Precise Felt Tip Eyeliner, and this is just in black. Um, so it's like one of the best eyeliners ever. So precise and easy to use, so I definitely recommend this one. Okay, well this eye is definitely better than this eye, but I gave it my best shot. I'm not the best at winged eyeliner, so don't judge me. Next is mascara, and this is one that I actually haven't ever used before, and it is the Rimmel Wonderful uh, Mascara, and this looks pretty cool. It says it's a, it's a mascara with argan oil, so I'm excited to try this because the brush looks amazing. Just take a look at that, and like the packaging is amazing too. Christmas in a bottle. Now, of course, after putting on mascara, I realised this, but I'm now just going to take my that, that same Revlon champagne colour on my MAC brush again and just pop it underneath my bottom lashes. Now using my, what is this, this is the Real Techniques uh, Deluxe Crease Brush, I'm just going to use this as a highlighter brush and just put, put, I'm going to put, <laughs> no. I'm just going to put some highlighter on my inner corner and in my brow bone. And the highlighter I'm going to be using is the thing that I've been using as a mirror, which is my sleek contour kit, which is in light. Now the eyes are all done, we're going to go back to the face. No B, you can't come out, they come inside, stay out there. I'm first going to contour, just underneath the cheekbones, with, uh, this is my Shiseido The Makeup Hydro Liquid Compact, and this is in B80, and it's just like a cream foundation, but it's very, very dark for my skin, so I'm going to be using it as a contour. So finished contouring and now I'm just going to apply some of my pore pore which is cinnamon scented um, and this stuff's amazing so I'm just going to put that on my lips to moisturise them before lipstick. Okay, that's always good. Now to warm up with my... Now to warm up my face I'm going to use my Maybelline Dream Sun Bronzing Powder and this is in 05 Sunbaked and I'm going to just apply that with my B Collection by Bloom uh, powder brush. So I'm just applying this all over my cheeks and around yeah, my temples from the side of my forehead just to put a little bit more colour in. And also because I'm not going to be using any blush in this. My cheeks are already red enough because it's a very hot day.
Now I'm going to highlight with my So Susan water based pure illuminizer I think this is called and this stuff is really really good the only problem that I have with it is that they make the bottle huge and there's so little product in it that it takes so long to actually get out and I'm just going to dot this on the tops of my cheekbones and then just blend it just using my finger because it's a bit easier than using a brush sometimes Also just getting the excess off my fingers by putting some down my nose and on my chin. And now to go over the top of that liquid highlighter, I'm taking my sleek palette again and taking the highlighter again and just putting that over the top. It gives more of an extra sheen and also just kind of helps it stay on a bit longer as well. set it all, I'm taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in 003 Peach Glow and my Thin Lizzy brush just to, you know, set everything. Now lastly, the real showstopper in this whole entire routine is the lipstick. This is Maybelline's Red Revival 645 and this is just such a Christmassy red it looks quite a lot lighter on camera, but it is a bit darker. I'm not going to be using um, a lip liner or anything like that. I don't have a dark enough red lip liner, so I'm just going to apply this straight on. So now with the lipstick on, we are all finished. I've taken my hair out and I love, love, love this makeup look. I think it's super duper pretty. It's like the closest to Christmas I've been since last year on actual Christmas. And I love the gold eyes and the really, really shimmery cheeks and just that bright lip. I think it looks really, really pretty. If you guys have any more suggestions or want to see any more Christmassy videos then leave me some ideas in the description box below in the description box and you can also hit me up on Twitter or Tumblr or Ask.fm or anything like that I will leave all of those links down below in the description box I hope you guys have a good day bye